Yeah, my story is not the most interesting as far as, yeah, you know, when I, when I was growing up, I loved this artist and that artist and this, that and the other, and my uncle had tattoos and whatnot. You know, I just, I didn't, I didn't have any of that. It wasn't until, you know, early adult years that I started becoming influenced by tattoo imagery. I made the decision long before the decision was, was, was made for me. Um, I was, uh, I guess, about 19 years old when I, when I realized that tattooing was definitely what I wanted to do. Uh, I just had to convince some other people that that was what I wanted to do as well. I have been tattooing for, I think March will be 14 years, so not quite 14 years. Growing up on a farm, I was not influenced as a kid by tattoos much at all. It wasn't until you know a little bit later in life, uh, uh, one of my best friends was relatively tattooed, and uh, that's what really sparked my interest in it. Beyond you know art 101, you know in college I did not do I didn't do anything art related until after I started tattooing. I, I like doing both traditional Japanese and um, American tattooing, both. Um, both on a, on a larger scale. I like the multiple sitting piece. Uh, it's more of a journey. <laughs> and then it seems to be more fulfilling and gratifying when the end is finally reached. I, I think that a big advantage to, uh, you know, to doing custom work is, is that I am like immersed in each piece. I, I feel passionate about each piece that I do um, because it's coming, you know, the idea might be coming from somebody else, but how the idea is translated comes all from me. And so that, that's, I mean, that's very fulfilling, you know. Um, I would much rather be doing that than, you know, just reproducing other people's ideas. Man, like not every tattoo's got to have a story, you know. But the biggest negative would be the misconception that it's a rock star lifestyle. That's probably the biggest negative. Um, people don't realize how hard you have to work <laughs> to, to be good you know, at, at this profession. So it's not, uh, I mean, my wife can attest to the fact of how much work I do. And <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not a rock star you know, lifestyle by any means. In order to do it correctly, there needs to be a lot of time spent on reference, whether that be the internet, um, which saves a lot of time and it saves money buying books, but there's still a ton of money that is put into reference material, um, books, videos, so on and so forth. Uh, the money put into traveling to get inspiration and to see other types of tattooing going on um, other places in the world. Um, but I think that Probably um, a big misconception is how long it takes to actually create um, a design on, you know, on on a large scale. To do, you know, there there may be, you know, eight hours or more spent drawing on paper before, you know, the the, the process of the actual tattoo is even is even started. I think that most good tattooers probably do not get the recognition that they deserve as artists. Um, I, I think that it has gotten much better, you know, than, than it was in years past, but it's, uh, it's probably still a little misunderstood. The stigma that comes with tattooing has a lot to do with the recognition that people get or lack thereof. A back piece of uh, this size and detail will probably be in the neighborhood of 60 hours. Tattooing is unique in the sense that it only lasts as long as the person is living, or shortly thereafter. I think that um, it's always a challenge dealing with the contours of the body. You know, you paint something on canvas and it's, you know, relatively flat. Um, the, the fact that uh, there's a lot of movement, breathing, so on and so forth when, when you're working on somebody that makes it a, a much bigger challenge than when you're painting on, you know, watercolor or canvas. The biggest thing that separates, you know, one tattooer from another is, is dedication, period. I mean, it's, you know, the, the, the drive to become better every single day. I uh, attribute a lot of, you know, self-worth and, and uh, um, you know, just how, how I feel and my drive in life to 
tattooing, um, it has also given me the opportunity to um, explore other mediums. I do a lot of watercolor, um, and I also do you know custom paint work on you know motorcycles, hot rods, um, just automotive painting. Um, a lot of hand pen striping, a lot of airbrushing. So it's uh, I think uh, the tattooing is is what sparked all of that. Without tattooing, I, I, I probably would never have you know ventured into any of those other you know mediums. When the client is totally satisfied and when you hear that you not only met but exceeded their expectations you know that uh, that's a very fulfilling feeling money has to be there because it makes the world go round but that's definitely not the the priority and that's not the reason um, it, it has to do more with the actual art itself become a docublogger log on to docublogger.org to share your opinions and story ideas or get out your camera and create your own docublog.